Hey guys, it's Core Ross, and today we're unboxing some official Rainbow Six Siege merchandise. And alongside that, we've also got a box from Ubisoft UK for the UK Island and Nationals, so we'll take a look at that as well. But also, we're looking at some pins from the Koi store, which are actually for all the regions, so we're going to look at everything. So we'll start by opening this box. It's got a nice magnetic catch on it, and inside is some goodies, along with a little postcard here that says... Thanks for supporting us during the first year of the UK Ireland Nationals. We've included some goodies for you to enjoy through the final weekend. Reinforce your position and we'll see you in the finals. So this is what we've got here. Of course, we've got a little paper to rip through and then inside. Now, when I first opened this, I thought, oh, is that a hoodie? Is that a black hoodie with a massive logo on it? But then I realized, no, it's actually a bag, which is pretty cool. But of course, inside that, we have some additional stuff to take a look at. So the bag itself looks really cool. Don't know if I'll do my shopping in it at the uh, local supermarket or if I was going to keep it for, obviously, kind of on display. But inside the bag, we have a six hat or a little beanie type thing and a hoodie as well. So we're going to have a quick look at the bag. This is what it looks like. Nice big logo on the side. And of course, that's a really nice logo they've got hanging up with the Union Jack and the Irish flag. And of course, some like Celtic symbols and stuff. It looks very, very good. And it's even got it on the other side as well. So they didn't skimp out and just put it on one side, which is sweet. And then we've got a hat, which has the six logo on it. With all this stuff, I'm slowly accumulating bit by bit. I'm getting all the different parts. Like the last time I got sweatpants with the six logo on them too. So eventually I'm going to have a full outfit. I'm going to just need like socks or something in the future. So yeah, we've got a nice little beanie here. And yeah, that looks it's simple. It's gorgeous. Very, very cool and lucky to have it. And then the hoodie here, of course, has the UK Ireland Nationals logo on it. And pretty damn nice, very comfy. We're just coming out of winter here in Scotland, so this is still usable for the moment. And then, you know, once we go into summer, I'll be too hot to wear a hoodie. But I'm looking forward to wearing this and keeping me warm in the future winters as well. So yeah, it looks really good, very nicely printed and gorgeous. Now this is unfortunately stuff you can't buy. They just do these boxes for market and send them off to a whole bunch of people. And they do run competitions to win them as well. But yeah, let's move on to the stuff that you can actually purchase. And you can purchase with my code ROSS5 if you want to get a discount on these. But we're going to go over the Koyu Store's eSports National League pins. And the first one we're looking at is the Polish crest with a red and gold color scheme and what looks to be a bird of prey as well. Very, very striking. But talking of striking, we have the Taiwan crest, which has a freaking bear in it with a blue, white and red color scheme. This one looks really nice. And of course, we have the UK crest with the Union Jack and the Irish flag. Of course, getting an Irish operator this time around for year six. And you'll also notice there's a lion there as well, which is very prominent in crests in the UK especially England and Scotland. Wales is better known for the dragons, although Scotland's national animal is a unicorn, believe it or not. And then up next is the GSA League. This is Germany, Switzerland and Austria. Of course, you can see all three flags being used in this crest. And then we've got the Oceanic Crest, which is everything basically down south where everything's upside down in Australia, New Zealand and kind of that wider oceanic area. And then we've got the MENA National League pin. This one reminds me of Border. And that's because, of course, that's Morocco. And it has a lot of that architecture style in it. And, yeah, that comes across in that pin. And it looks very, very cool. Then we have the Nordic League. This one definitely has a little bit of a Viking vibe to it. But I'm not entirely sure where a lot of the kind of styles come from. But I love that blank space of just white at the top. Brave to do that. And it looks very stunning. But moving on from that, we have our French National League pin. And this one is very stunning with the blue, red and black and, of course, white as well. And yeah, it looks really good. Very simple. Very, very nice. But then moving away from simple, we have Russia. So this one is super complicated with a lot of curving lines making like flowers and things. But then we've also got some angular straight lines that are making some very sharp angles as well. But then moving back towards more simple designs, we have the Spanish one. This one, of course, has the Spanish flag in it. Also a big chunk of white as well. And overall looks very, very good. Now earlier when I talked about whales and them having like dragons in their flags, we do have some dragons here. This is the Thailand National League pin. And it looks freaking cool. At least I think it's a dragon. It might not be. But it definitely looks like a dragon to me. And it goddamn looks awesome. 
But let's move on to the next one and we have the Benelux League. So this is Belgium, Netherlands and Luxembourg. And of course they're all combined in here with our flags. And you know, pretty good. Looks a bit busy with the flags there. But I understand it and it does look quite nice. Up next is the Italian National League pin. This one of course has the national flag colours in it. Along with what I can only say is a very small pizza in the middle there. Cut up into segments of course. Now if the last one wasn't a dragon and I got that wrong which is very very possible. This one I think has to be a dragon and that is the Korean National League pin. If it's not it freaking looks gorgeous either way. And this is probably the best pin, in my opinion. Anyway, this is the best pin. They look so cool. I also love the colors, like that teal and purple. And just, yeah, it's gorgeous. Very much like this. And uh, yeah, that is a beautiful, beautiful pin. Anyway, guys, that's the enemy jibber jabbing in this video. I'm going to leave you now with some high quality photos of all these items. So that's the stuff that came from Ubisoft UK and the actual pins that you can buy from the Koyu store. Let me know what is your favorite item today and I'll catch you next time.